Hello to you all and welcome to Car Question. The Mercedes-Benz GLK was one of the pioneer of the luxury sport utility vehicle class. For 2016, Mercedes-Benz is replacing the GLK with the new GLC. By the way, GL meaning sports utility for Mercedes and the C is the size of the vehicle. Mercedes-Benz is making a promise that this vehicle will be agile, functional, fun to drive and it will respond to the technology need of the buyers of today. Will it do that? That's what we're going to see this week at Car Question. All right, let's look at the exterior of the Mercedes-Benz GLC. The model that we have right now is a Formatic because it's the only one available in Canada. In the US, you can have a rear wheel drive package. We've got also the Premium Plus package and we've got also a sports package, which is going to change a little bit the appearance of the front bumper, the rear bumper, the wheels, and add a little bit of AMG logo on this vehicle. Look at the front end of the car. I love this style. It's a mix of aggressive styling, yet good finishing when you look at that. Also, we have the LED intelligent light system. This is an option once again, when you're gonna be running your daytime running lights, this is gonna be the complete LED bar, which is gonna be turned on. And look at that. Look at the finish that you can see. Mercedes-Benz mentioned right there on the side, a lot of chrome. Those lights are directional and uh, also, when you're going to put the high beam, you're going to see the movement, which is so fluid and it's going to give you a bright light. And I love the lighting. Also, when you're going to turn in direction, you're going to see a light coming in that direction where you want to go. Look at that logo. <laughs> Look how big it is. By the way, you have two logo, one of the hood right here and one huge. And when I'm talking huge, look at that. Look at, it's the size of my hand. Awesome logo. Uh, you've got also nice grill, nice chrome work, and nice kind of gray satin finish that you have right there. So once again, the grill looks perfect. Uh, the assembly looks perfect. You can also see the camera that we have right here. It's gonna be for the 360 degree camera for the front part. And you've got also sensor here on the side and look how clearly on the side it is so it's going to give you a complete coverage when you're going to do your parking maneuvers the other one nicely dissimulated in the black and also the same thing for for those one in the front around here uh, for the front bumper look at the approach angle look at the attack angle so you're going to be able to do some light off-roading with that truck without hitting nothing and you've got a nice grill which is which is unique to the, to the sport package that we have right now. Nice line on the hood, not too obvious. You need to look clearly to see those lines. But once again, nice design. Big windshield and you've got also all your security system, sensor, camera. And if you check closely, you're going to see some line of the, of, of the death rest. So your camera is going to be always uh, working even if, if it's cold even if there's ice put that defrost on and it's gonna clear up so you've got a nice panoramic uh, sunroof nice rail look at the color I love the color it's kind of a mix of chrome satin gray nicely done look at the side of the vehicle not too bad huh do you like it well I do the wheels, wheels, 19 inches wheels. And look at that color of those AMG wheels. It's, it's, it's coming with the sports package. So you've got the Mercedes-Benz logo, two-tone, a little bit of, uh, of gray, silver, nearly chrome. And you're gonna see that we're running Pirelli tire. So it's Scorpion Verde. Uh, it's all season tire with run flat. And this car is not equipped with a spare. 235, 50, 19. We could also choose the 20 inches optional rim on this one. Big four piston caliper Mercedes Benz uh, logo on it. And you can see clearly the size of the brake, which, which are a cross rail 
and are pretty big. Um, nice coverage also inside in the fender. The, there's a use of plastic. And you will also see on the sideline when you look at it that there, it's not too aggressive. You've got two discrete lines, one which is starting right here, becoming more obvious as you go on the side of the vehicle. You've got a little plastic surrounding, once again, the wheels. And you've got another line down there going all the way up to the rear wheel. So a nice mirror, look at that. Nice blinker on the side. You've got also a camera which is hidden down there. Um, you're going to be able once again uh, to use that camera with the 360 degree. And when you look also inside the mirror, you can see some little lines here who are going to generate less wind turbulence for once again, better efficiency. Nice handle, chrome, white. If you want to unlock, you grab here. If you want to lock, you just press there. And as soon as you're going to lock, the mirror are going to fold. And if you unlock the car, unfolding mirror. I love also the running boards down there. Nice use of metal. And all those little dots right here are rubber. So if you step on it, even if there's highs, even if it's slippery, you will get a grip. Nice tinted windows. Once again, chrome accent right here, all the way up to the front, matching the door handle in some kind of way. And when you open the fuel cap, <laughs> look at that also, uh, you're gonna see exactly which, which pressure you need to put on normal load uh, with your tire, depending on the tire size that you have. And remember, it's 91, it's premium fuel that you need to use uh, with, it, with that car. So it's kind of big and you will see right there that there's a hole. So maybe someday we will get probably a diesel version uh, on the way. Same tire size on the rear and you can see that the brake is a good size. Let's move to the rear. Not too bad, it's, it's not that unique when you look at that, uh, that rear end, but I still think it's good looking. So you've got your integrated spoiler right there, nice thin windows, wipers. This part's probably gonna get cock in, in the eyes uh, sometimes. Formatic, Mercedes-Benz logo, GLC 300. And you might think that the rear view camera is coming from that logo. Well, guess again. Right there under, you're gonna see that little section of plastic right here. So when you're gonna put it into reverse, it's gonna open and you're gonna see clearly because the camera won't get dirty and it's gonna be less affected by highs if it's hidden down here. So you've got a nice line also. Look how deep the lights are finishing right there inside. I love that gap that we have uh, right now. If I want to open the trunk, I just go right under there, pull a button, the trunk is kind of slow moving though when it's opening. So it's gonna give me access to uh, the luggage that I need to get. One red light right here, and I've got also two buttons. Uh, the one here is to, is to stop uh, the, uh, the trunk of opening more if, it, if it's gonna hit something. And I can also lock it. And if I press there, it's gonna close everything. And you're gonna see once again, it's going to go slowly. A little bit down there, you're going to see also a, a nice uh, twin exhaust pipe, chrome once again, a little bit of AMG finish. You've got your trailer hitch. And if I open the accession, you're going to see the trailer connector right there, which is once again quite interesting to have that on the GLC 300. Uh, let's move inside the car. I want to show you the lights. So let's turn on the car. Oop. We're gonna go for a full hand blinker and rear fog lights. As I was telling you, look at that. Look at the detail, the LED that you can see right now with the blinker on. And look at those lights, incredible light giving you such a perfection when you're gonna be in the dark. If I move a little bit on the side, the blinker of the mirror, and in the rear, nice uniform LED lights. You're gonna see also the blinker, which is gonna be down there, your uh, reverse light here. 
And if you turn on the rear fog light, this is going to be a light which is going to be so powerful that it's going to light up uh, in the fog and the dark. So everybody is going to see your Mercedes-Benz GLC in front, even if there's bad weather condition. So let's turn it off. How do you like it so far? How do you like the look of the exterior of the Mercedes-Benz GLC? For myself, I really enjoy it.